Hey guys, welcome back to a new reaction on this channel. Today I'm going to be react to Suicide Silence with their song Human Violence. And guys, I'm honest. I'm really honest here. I really thought that I reacted to Suicide Silence before, but I, I saw not a single Suicide Silence video in my on my YouTube page. But I'm what? Usually, I'm really sure I reacted to a song of Suicide Silence. I don't know which one. I, I first I thought maybe uh, you only live once, but um, I guess not. For real, is this my first Suicide Silence reaction? Unbelievable. For real, I deep in my heart and deep in my brain, there is a Suicide Silence reaction I did before. But hey, I, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. God damn! If this is my first Suicide Silence reaction, welcome. <laughs> um, of course I know Suicide Silence. I, of course, know the band. I saw the band live. I guess two years ago. Um, maybe you guys know, maybe not. I work for the company Impericon. Maybe you know it from metalcore, deathcore scene. I guess it's really big there. Um, and we have two festivals. Two festival series, if I can say that. We have the Impericon festivals and we have the Never Say Die festivals. And I guess two years ago, so in 2022, Suicide Silence played at our Never Say Die festivals uh, as headlining band, if I remember that right. Because last year, I guess it was Nasty as headlining band. So I guess it's now two years ago that I saw Suicide Silence live. Of course, with their, I don't want to say new singer, because the singer is still for a long time in the band but maybe you know suicide silence got a singer called mitch lucker he here sadly passed away in 2012 because of a uh, um, bicycle not bicycle why do i say bicycle um uh because of an accident uh, the english word for that freak not bicycle guys not bicycle uh i, I forgot literally the name of the English word. That's unbelievable. Bike. Let's call it bike. <laughs> bike accident. I'm sorry for that. Um, I, I still remember that. You have to know, I never usually listen to Suicide Silence, especially not in that time. But I got a lot of, I don't want to say friends, but I knew a lot of people who really love to listen to Suicide Silence. And it was a really big thing in their, in the scene, in their whatever uh, when Mitch Lacker passed away. I remember that. It was full. I guess Facebook was there really big, and I know that Facebook was full of the death of Mitch Lacker. Um, I started listening to Suicide Silence a little bit later. I'm I'm still not a 100% really big Suicide Silence fan. Um, but of course I know what the band are doing. I know I know a couple of songs, and, and that's usually it. Um, I don't know if I ever heard of Human Violence before. It's still a song with Mitch Lucker. It's also from 2012, so the same year he, he passed away. Um, and I'm extremely excited. I'm extremely excited because I know Suicide Silence is doing great stuff. And especially, I guess, I like the time with Mitch Lucker more than with the new singer because he sounds definitely different. Um, but what should I say? All right. So, I guess that's all I can say. So, suicide silence with human violence. Let's freaking go.
right, guys, I'm sorry to pause there after that because the copyright strikes, you guys know that. And that is exactly the suicide silence I remembered out of that time, I'm honest. Oh, freaking, freaking fast, extremely heavy. I also know that Mitch Lucky got, in my opinion, a little bit higher voice than the singer they have now. I don't know his name, I'm super sorry. Um, but I'm honest, I haven't heard Suicide Silence back then in 2012 or even before that when Suicide Silence was really, really big. Um, but first of all, I miss these freaking old school Suicide Silence cover artworks or also t-shirt artworks because they were absolutely amazing. They were also a little bit emo, emo touched and it was extremely great. Their Suicide Silence t-shirts looks freaking awesome. I really love that. Um, but it, I, I'm honest, if I listened to metal back then in 2012, I, I can tell you in 2012, I listened just to more punkish music, Rise Against, Billy Talent, uh, The Offspring, stuff like that. So I wasn't, not at all in the metal scene or metalcore or deathcore or whatever. Um, but Suicide Silence is a really good band. I'm honest, they are extremely great. Um, I just heard one of the newer tracks with the new singer. But that's usually it. Of course, I know you only live once because that's, I guess, one of their most favorite songs of all time. Um, and that's usually literally it. But really great song. I'm honest. Like like I told you before, I work for Impericon and also a couple of my coworkers who work there for now fifteen years or stuff. Uh, time like that, they told me that they've been also on tour with Suicide Silence back and maybe 2012, especially when Mitch Lucker was still in the band. And they also told me really great stories of the, of the tours with them. And it, it sounded extremely fun. And I guess Suicide Silence is an absolutely great band also personal. So I guess, I guess it's awesome. All right. <laughs> By the way, but I, I, I guess I will say it at the end, but uh, let's, let's go a little bit back. Let's listen to the rest of the song and then I will, I will tell you something, something different, but let's freaking go. <laughs> Alright guys, that was Suicide Silence with Human Violence. And I have to say that was a freaking good song. God damn. Really, really awesome. I like that song. <laughs> also, at this point, of course, I can also say rest in peace, bitch locker. Like I said, still 2012. 
but he did absolutely great music. He did absolutely great music. I'm really honest. It Suicide Silence back then was extremely awesome, even if I haven't listened to them at that time. But I know that. And also their shirt designs, like I said, freaking awesome. Um, what I wanted to tell you is that I also got, I guess from the same person, um, a remix of the song. I guess Big Chocolate remix of the song Human Violence. Don't worry, it's on my list. Usually I wanted to do this directly at the same day, so that you get two Suicide Silence reactions today. But I decided a little bit against that, because you guys know I want a little bit for variety on the channel. Also from music genre or bands or whatsoever. Um, but I just have put the uh, remix a couple days later. So you don't have to wait now three years or anything. <laughs> Um, the problem is I'm not really at home in the first two weeks in June, and you know, it starts <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> or today when you will see that. Um, so yeah, um, maybe it could take a couple of weeks, <laughs> but uh, you don't have to wait long, I'm honest. Um, I Like I said, I just put the Big Chocolate remix a couple of songs behind, and that's literally it. So don't don't worry, you don't have to wait three years again or something like that. I'm super sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a really good song. Really liked it. Comes straight into my private Spotify playlist. And I would appreciate definitely more Suicide Silence uh, requests, I'm honest, because Suicide Silence is a band I never really experienced back then. And also today, um, I haven't heard much songs of them. Um, but I really want to go a little bit deeper into Suicide Silence because I know that they are making extremely good music and I would definitely like it. Um, so it's up to you. Write everything down in the comments if you have more requests, wishes, whatever. And if you want to talk about Suicide Silence with me at all community, join our community Discord. Link is down in the description. You can join anytime and talk about anything you want. It'd be cool to see you there. And then I hope I see you guys again in another reaction. Would be awesome. And I say bye!